I feel like as women, we are on this lifelong mission to find fabulous makeup products, and there's so many options out there. We need it to make us look good. We need it to not break the bank. We need it to have fabulous consistency, not break out our skin. Like there's so many factors that go into that. And I'm so happy that I found Shine Makeup earlier this year because it gives me all the things that I need. It doesn't break the bank. The consistency is my favorite out of any makeup that I've ever tried. The people behind Shine Makeup are absolutely amazing, but I will say the best part about Shine Makeup is I know that everybody that I share it with is going to love it just as much as I do. Hello, my name is Katie Richardson, and I am so honored to be here with you today at the first ever Mom Summit. Think about it. Mothers just like you gathering together, coming together, inspiring and uplifting one another so that you can crush it as a mom. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you my unexpected journey of becoming a multi-million dollar international entrepreneur and how that is helping me crush it as a mom. This is my guide to you for how to go after your dreams, that thing inside of you that you feel that drives you, that you want to let out, and how to also do that and create a beautiful family. Ladies, we live in the most amazing time in the history of the world. Think about it. Think about the tools and resources that are at your fingertips. Right now, I am at my home office communicating with women all over the world with my iPhone. It's beautiful, it's so amazing. As I talk with you today, I wanna to invite you to be extremely present with me. What I'm about to share with you has the potential to completely transform your life. And if you are open to it and listening to your inner voice and give yourself permission to take action on those thoughts, those feelings, those emotions that you have, you will experience a radical transformation. My name is Katie Richardson. I am the mother of four beautiful children. My oldest is 13, 11, nine, and then I have a daughter who is four. I love motherhood. My whole life, that's all I ever wanted, was to be a mom. I wanted to go and do amazing things with my kids all over the world. I wanted to do crafts with them at the kitchen table and then go outside and play in the woods and um, ride bikes together and travel the world. Being a mother is something I'm extremely passionate about. And I know you feel the same way. That's the whole reason that you are here right now with me. As I speak, I want you to get a piece of paper or a journal. I love um, Moleskine journals. Get a journal and write down your thoughts and feelings because what I'm sharing with you has the power to radically transform your life. I'm gonna share some stories from my life. Some of you may know me as Katie Richardson, the founder of Pudge. We make the coolest baby products. I am educated in product design and it's something I love and I'm passionate about. Making things was always a part of my life. We always had scrap wood in the garage or I would cut up cardboard and as a kid, I was constantly making things. And when I wasn't making things, I was looking around the room and taking things apart in my mind so curious about how things were made and how they went together. I, I loved, I loved Mr. Rogers when he would go in the picture frame and he would go visit factories. I still remember him fa visiting a broom factory and a crayon factory and a baby doll factory. This kind of thing fascinated me. And when I was in college, I took classes on woodwork and metal and I just, I loved creation. It was an exciting thing for me. I felt like I was alive and um, I really felt like it was a gift and ability that I had been given and I just, I loved creation. When I was in school, I met an amazing man. We got married. He was also a product designer and pretty soon, two years into our marriage, we decided to start our family. And like I said, motherhood was just a passion and a dream of mine and I felt like my wildest dreams were coming true. I was married to this amazing man and I was becoming a mother. And I loved being with my babies. I still remember my two young sons at the time, and this opportunity came to me to work, to work. 
and I was given an opportunity to do some contract work for somebody. And it was so fun, it was so exciting. I hadn't done it in such a long time and I felt alive again. Um, and it was really cool because I was able to do it out of my home and I was able to give the client exactly what they needed and I didn't need an office. And I was able to use the tools that I had in my home. I had a um, digital camera, I had a desktop computer, I had a scanner, and so I was able to do design work out of my home and I was doing it during nap time and I was doing it at night when the kids were asleep and as they got older I was doing it as they were at school and it was just really cool that I could be a mom and I could grow and expand in my gifts and talents and abilities as a designer and it was so exciting um, and as I would do this um, opportunities would continue to present themselves and I still remember the day that I was in my local children's boutique and I had my two boys with me. One was holding my hand and then the other one was in a sling that I had created. And the boutique owner came up to me and she said, where did you get all this stuff? I said, oh, you like it? Thanks, I made it. And she was talking about some shoes that my son had on, a blanket that was in his stroller, um, the carrier that he was in, and even a hat that he was wearing. I'd made all of it. And she said, I go to all the trade shows and this is totally hot. I want you to make it for me. And at first, I, only, I put up this wall like, well, no, hold on, I'm, a, I'm just a mom. I don't, I don't sell my things, I'm just a mom. And I still remember her name was Meryl and she grabbed me square by the shoulders and she just said, sweetheart, someday your boys are gonna grow up and they're gonna be in school and you're gonna wish that you had created an opportunity for yourself to work. And I thought about those words that she had said, and she said, if you're open to it, I really want to place an order for the sling. I think it's totally hot, it's super amazing. I love the design. I haven't seen anything out there like it, and I want to place an order. So I remember coming home and telling my husband the wild thing that happened, and I was gonna make 10 slings for this store. And I was super excited about it. He said, hold on, hold on, Katie. This is an opportunity. You you can create a business around this. And I'm like, what? Me? Create a business? Nah. Are you serious? No. There's just no way. How in the world could I ever do that? We've got two kids and I know we want to have more. There's no way I could ever create a business. And he just said, Katie, you clearly have a gift and a talent. You weren't there to sell anything and yet you just sold 10 slings. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's true. Maybe he's right. So he said, you're not gonna sew these. I want you, instead of spending time sewing these, I want you to go around to other boutiques in Portland and I want you to sell more slings and we'll find you a sewer, we'll source the fabric, but go and sell some more. So that's what I did. I walked into every children's boutique in Portland and at the time I didn't know this was not normal, but everybody placed an order. And I was excited, I was, couldn't even believe that something that I had designed designed was now going to be on store shelves that somebody who I never met who I had never had a conversation with who'd never heard of me could walk in and purchase a product that I had designed that I had created and take it home and use it to improve and enrich their life and to make their life easier and better because the products I was making were all about simplifying parenthood as a mom I felt like there were so many especially baby products that I felt were complicating motherhood and I just wanted to simplify it and make things easier for you as a mom. So this is what I was doing. Well, as I did this over and over again, I decided to fly to San Francisco and I walked into every boutique in San Francisco and the same thing, everybody placed an order. And then I went to Seattle and I, I walked around to every boutique there and the same thing, everybody placed an order. It blew my mind. The fact that I could create something that people would pay money for was blowing my mind. And keep in mind, I was doing all of this literally with one child on my hips and the other one holding my hand. And so often, that's what I was doing is I was walking into these boutiques with my children in tow, showing them right here exactly how this product works, exactly how it's improving my life, exactly how easy it was to use, and demonstrating it with my kids right there. Because that was what was most important to me, was that I was present with my kids, that I was showing them how to reach their potential, that I was showing them that I could step outside my comfort zone, and that I could create something to make the world a better place. And here I was, living it, showing them in tow exactly how to do that. 
Then the opportunity came to really grow and expand my business. And again, I was scared. I didn't know if I could do this. I didn't know what I was capable of. And first and foremost, I wanted to be there for my kids. So I had been developing a product for almost two years at home. Nobody had seen it. Um, and I was trying to get it patented. We finally had the patent process in place so that I could take it to this trade show. Took it to the trade show. I was terrified. I was looking around at the tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars that companies had put into their booths, let alone the product and the people they had working in there. My booth was hand built by me and my husband. We literally popped it up with <laughs> packing tape. I'd asked my girlfriend to fly out from Washington DC to come to this trade show because I was going to try and make it big. And I was going to do it with my kids in tow. And she comes to the trade show. I'm terrified. I'm afraid to show anybody this product that I've been working on for two years. I'm afraid they're all gonna laugh at me. I'm afraid they're all gonna know that I'm just this stay at home mom who doesn't really know what she's doing, who's creating products out of her garage and expecting big box stores to place an order. And yet there I was doing it. The doors opened for this trade show and within minutes, our booth was flooded. And our booth was packed, you guys. There were so many people from all over the world, from really cool boutiques in LA where all the celebrities shopped, and from big box stores like Target and Babies R Us and Bye Bye Baby. I couldn't even believe it. I was having these conversations. And yet I was so terrified that I was gonna get found out, that I was gonna get found out that I wasn't really an entrepreneur, that I didn't really know what I was doing, that I'd never built a business before, and that I had four kids and that that was going to slow me down and hold me back. That was the story I was telling myself. By the end of those four days, ladies, I had sold my really amazing, brilliant pudge tub to every person who'd walked into the booth. Everybody was blown away. Everybody wanted a piece of it because it was transformative. It was changing the way people were bathing their babies. It was changing the way people all over the world thought about bath time. It was no longer about getting your baby clean. That wasn't enough. It was about having a beautiful experience, this bonding moment with your child where the bathtub worked so well, you didn't have to cradle the baby. You could just be there present with them. You weren't worried about them slipping underneath the water. They weren't crying and terrified and feeling unsafe. They felt warm and secure. And you were able to have this beautiful experience. People wanted that and they were willing to pay money. People all over the world wanted this product, this crazy idea that this mother of four had created out of her garage over Christmas break People wanted it. People were prepaying for this product. Um, very quickly, I became a multi-million dollar international entrepreneur. And then I began to ask myself, is this what I want? Is this what I should be doing? Now you need to hear the pre-story to that story because Everybody knows that story, but the story I'm about to share with you is going to open your eyes and help you see that there is greatness inside of you and you just need to give yourself permission. Before that trade show where everything took off, it was almost a year prior, we had been working on this product for almost a year and I had made, handmade a prototype in my kitchen because it was during winter and it was so cold in my garage I couldn't even stand it to be in the garage so I brought all my power tools into the kitchen and I made my first real prototype of the punch tub. I had been working on it for over a year and I was really excited this, about this idea and I thought maybe other people are gonna want to buy it but I didn't know I didn't know my girlfriends had said they liked it my girlfriends thought it was cool and so I had found an LA rep who had a space in the New York gift show. It was one of the biggest trade shows in New York where people from all over the world come to buy the latest and greatest things and then put them in their store. And she was selling my sling that I had created, the first product I had ever made. And she was selling that. And I said, I have something that I think is really groundbreaking and I want to show it at this New York show. So I make the prototype. 
I pack my bags, and with the last of our money, I fly to New York. I even found a friend of a friend of a friend to sleep on their floor because I couldn't even afford the hotel room. My family was literally living on rice and beans. I was grinding a huge can of wheat every week to make four loaves of bread. That was like our only fast, quick food. Otherwise, it was literally rice and beans or canned peaches. That's what we had around the house. Um, because every dime that I was making on any sort of consulting projects or freelance project was going back to the patent of this product. So I fly to New York. I'm 28 years old. I have been selling my slings for about a year and things are going okay. And I am really excited and nervous about showing people this product that I've been working on. In fact, I was even nine weeks pregnant with our third. I felt like everything was on the line. I go to the show. I set it up, I set up the beautiful display, the sink that I had created to hold this bathtub to show everybody. I handed people my line sheet and time after time my, um, my sales rep was bringing people in and she was showing them this product and I would give a ch get a chance to tell them the story of this cool new bathtub, the punch tub and how cool it was and feel how soft and warm it is against your baby's skin and look at how well it fits into an even tiny little bathroom sink. And then I would hand them this beautiful line sheet that I'd spent late nights while my kids were asleep creating this line sheet, the thing that my um, sales rep had told me I needed, the thing that I felt was going to make me look legit to the retailers. And time after time they would ask me these questions like what are your lead times what's the wholesale price what's the retail price um, what is the retail packaging is it insured what are the age ranges for this product on and on and on they were asking me these hard questions that I didn't know the answers to questions that I felt way out of my league insurance did I need insurance I don't know um, Retail packaging, um, it comes in a bag and with a nice little card on the top. I was doing my best. And at the end of that trade show, I still remember flying home terrified to face my husband. We had put everything on the line. We'd been living on food storage for two years. We had our third on the way and there was no sign of our life improving. The slings that I was selling were enough to barely feed my family and most of it was going towards the patents and yet here we were trying trying to step into it even more it was crazy it was crazy and I still remember coming home and looking my husband in the eyes um, and telling him that I got zero orders for this product that we've been working on for two years no orders I was so destroyed and deflated, defeated, I felt like, why was I so stupid to think that I could do something and make a difference in this world? Why was I so stupid to think that I could be a mom and an entrepreneur? Why did I think that I could put something out there that people would value? Why did I think I could play with the big boys? Why was I that stupid? I was so broken that I no longer believed in myself. I didn't believe in my talents, in my gifts, in my abilities. I didn't believe in my ability to make an impact in the world. I was broken and totally defeated. And in that moment, I still remember my husband putting his arm around me. We were in the garage. It was cold. I was looking at all the tools and scraps and evidence of prototyping and trying to improve the design. I was looking at all of that and I was just mad. I wanted it all to go away. And I said, I'm just going to be a mom. You go get a job and I'm just going to stay home with the kids. Um, he looked at me and he said, Katie, those were not no's, those were just questions. All we have to do is answer those questions and take it back to them and all of them will buy it. I didn't know if I believed him. I certainly didn't believe in myself. 
I didn't feel like I could actually do that anymore. I was so tired. I was so deflated. I, I wanted to hide. I wanted to hide from anybody who knew that I had been trying to do this. I wanted to hide from my kids. I wanted to hide from my husband. I wanted to hide from um, my God that was telling me that there was something inside of me that I needed to share. I wanted to hide. And yet, my husband was calling me out on it. And he believed in me. He believed in me. And in that moment, I had a decision to make. I could give up and go hide, or I could lean into his belief in me. And I could continue moving forward. And that's what I did. That is the true brilliance behind Pudge and everything that we've been able to accomplish. It's not that it was easy. It's not that it was just a brilliant design from the beginning and everyone loved it. It wasn't. And there I got a lot of rejection, I got a lot of no's, and I um, got a lot of debt. <laughs> but I'm here to tell you that if you feel like there is something inside of you that you want to share with the world, and when I say with the world, maybe that means the store down the street. Maybe it means the stores in your neighborhood. Maybe that means with your girlfriends. Maybe that's where you start. But if you feel that you have something inside of you that you want to share with the world, I'm here to tell you that I believe in you. I believe that there's greatness inside of you. There is something so beautiful that right now you are creating with your family and you have an opportunity to share that with the world. Whether that's you're really amazing at making cake or you're really wonderful at organizing a home or maybe you're really good at family finances. Whatever it is, I want you to ask yourself, am I feeling like there is more for me? And am I willing to step outside of my comfort zone and take one step towards that? For me, that one step began when I decided to fulfill that order at that boutique and to sell my product to her. Maybe for you, it's actually a story that you need to write. And you just need to commit to sitting down and writing that story. Maybe there's actually a song inside of you that needs to be sung. But all of us have something inside of us. And if you are feeling like you are ready and you want to share that with the world, I'm here to invite you to take a step forward. And if you don't believe in yourself, you need to know that Katie Richardson, a multi-million dollar international businesswoman, a mother of four, a woman who's been on the cover of Entrepreneur Magazine, who's had her products featured on the Ellen DeGeneres Show, the Rachel Ray Show, the Today Show, this woman, me, right here, believes in you. And the great thing is, this is what I do today, is I work with women and men just like you, who feel like there's something greater for them, who feel like there's something more that they want to contribute to the world, that they want to do it with their kids in tow. They want to do it alongside their family. They don't want to make those compromises. Because we live in the most amazing time in the history of the world, you have the tools that you need to share this greatness that's inside of you literally at your fingertips. Right now, I'm, I am broadcasting to you from my iPhone at my home office, and I am able to inspire and uplift you and your life as a mother through my iPhone. Thank you, Steve Jobs, because he was willing to step into the dark and to, as he said, poke the universe and something else came out on the other side. As I share my story with you, I want to ask you, what are you hearing for you? Maybe you're feeling like you are more than ever determined to focus on motherhood in your home. And that is fantastic. And I would, I would encourage you to continue down that path. But if you're feeling like you want to do that and more, I would invite you to take an action right now. Whether that means writing it out in your journal, that what you want to create, whether that means sharing this thing that's inside of you with your girlfriend, with your sister, with your neighbor, with your mother, with, um, with me. I would encourage you to take action today, one step. Maybe you do have a product that you've been thinking of and you 
have just been running it through your head over and over again, get out a pencil and draw it out. You don't have to be an artist. Or get out some fabric and cut and sew and prototype or get out paper and tape and see what you can make. But take an action right now, today, and move towards that thing that you feel is pushing you and pulling you to, to reach the world, to create something that's inside of you. You don't have to make compromises. I now <laughs> have a multi-million dollar international business, mother of four. Katie, 10 years ago, would have just laughed at you if, she, if, if you would have said that was gonna be me in 10 years. I would have laughed at you. How did I do all of that? It was by taking one step at a time. It was about taking action when my kids were asleep. It was about taking action um, when I was scared. It was about bringing my kids along when I needed to have that conversation with a store or a sales rep. Don't limit yourself. You have greatness inside of you and you need to know that I believe in you right now, in this moment. How does it feel to give yourself permission, even if it's just in your mind, to give yourself permission to take action on these desires that you have, these thoughts, these feelings, these emotions that you have, this, this want to create something? How does it feel? Thank you for spending this time with me. And my hope is not that I touched you and you had a nice experience. My hope, my intention in sharing these stories with you is to move you to action. If you are feeling like you have something inside of you that you wanna share with the world and you don't even know where to start, I would invite you to connect with me. There's a link that you can click on and I have a free gift for you that's gonna help you on this journey. It can be so overwhelming. There are so many people telling you different things. And for me, it was hard to, to know and understand what was going to not just benefit me as an entrepreneur, but also be good for my family. And you need to know this is where I'm coming from. As a mother of four and as an entrepreneur, I understand the juggle. I understand the struggle. I understand the guilt. And I can speak uniquely to that. If there is something inside of you that you are wanting to share with the world and you don't know how to get it out there, reach out to me. Click the button, follow my link, and take me up on my free offer because I'm gonna show you how to do this. How to do it while feeling fulfilled in your marriage, while feeling fulfilled as a mother. And I, <clears throat> You need to know that this entrepreneurial journey is not about me making millions of dollars. It's about me showing my kids their potential. It's about me expanding their minds, helping them see what an impact they can have in the world. It's about me showing them that we can make the impossible possible. And it's by taking action. It's about doing things that scare us and it's about moving into the dark, even though we don't know what's there and we don't even know where it's gonna lead. I wanna inspire you on your journey to take action. So click the link, follow the directions that I give you, take me up on my offer, and start taking action today on what it is you wanna share with the world. You don't have to make compromises. We live in the most amazing time in the history of the world where you can create something beautiful and great and grand and share it with the world and have the beautiful family that you want. Thank you for spending this time with me and don't forget to take your journal out and write down this message. What you are doing as a mother is more important than any other work that you will do and I want you to know that an entrepreneurial journey is about self-development and growth and expansion. And if that's something that you're interested in as a mother and demonstrating to your kids, then I would encourage you to take action. Don't be afraid, just take action. Have an amazing day and I hope that we can connect 
and I can continue to inspire you on your amazing entrepreneurial journey because you can do it and I believe in you.